Assalamu alaikum. Welcome everyone to Amazed by the Quran, a series in which I share with you what I find amazing about the Quran. Today, a very small example, but I still think a very profound one about our father Ibrahim alayhi uh, salam. There are two ayat that are very similar. One's in Surah Al-An'am, the sixth surah, and the other one is Surah Al-Zukhruf. And here, in both of them, you find a very similar statement of uh, the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. There, I'll, I'll give you the Arabic and I'll translate them roughly the same way. Inni bari umimma tushrikun. I am absolved. I have nothing to do with uh, the shirk, the associations with Allah that you make, the blasphemy that you do. So he's talking about how he's, he's disassociated completely from, and uh, disassociated is a good word, but I am disassociated from what you do, from the shirk that you do, from the blasphemy that you do. Okay. The other surah also, inni bara'un mimma ta'budun. No doubt I am absolutely absolved or I am completely disassociated from what you worship, mimma ta'budun. Except the word disassociated in uh, in the surah ayah of Surah Al-An'am is bari. Bari means it's an adjective. Someone who is disassociated is called a bari. But in the ayah of Surah Al-Zukhruf, it's actually bara. And bara in Arabic is not someone who is disassociated, it's actually disassociation itself. Now, this is the concept of how do you describe something. Okay, again, a little bit of Arabic here or uh, conceptions of, uh, co concepts in Arabic. Um, to help you understand it, I will cite something that I explained uh, this to using, uh, using uh, cartoons to my child. Uh, the cartoon movie Cars, right? Lightning McQueen. Yeah. So he, he doesn't say that he's fast. The movie opens, he says, speed. I am speed. Now, my son Walid is obsessed with cars, right? He's been for a long time. And he thought, when he, saw, when he said, I am speed, obviously he was exaggerating. What he meant to say was what? I am really fast, or I'm speedy, the adjective. But he said, I am speed itself, right? And Walid, for a long time, uh, thought that that's how you say you're fast. So he says, Abba, your car is speed, right? Abba, look, I'm gonna go speed over there. I'm so speed. Like he used this as a verb and as an adjective for like a long time. <laughs> so the English language for him was ruined by Lightning McQueen, right? Now the thing is, the point I'm trying to make is that sometimes when you want to describe someone with the most, the highest form of adjective, then you don't even use an adjective. You actually use the concept itself. That guy is so wealthy, he is money. He is money. That means he has a lot of money, but you didn't. You just say he is money. Man, that guy, he is basketball. It is as though you're saying, no, it's not round or whatever. He's, what you're saying is, he embodies what basketball actually means. Or you've heard people say things like, you know, when you look, at, when you look up stupid in the dictionary or stupidity in the dictionary, you'll find his picture, right? So the idea, the large infinite idea of stupidity has been captured by this man. You understand? Now, I'm, I'm saying this silly stuff to you to get across that you can use an adjective to describe someone or you can use a concept which is going out of your way to, to in a sense, hyperbolize, to, to empower. I won't use the word exaggerate because exaggeration, we do it. Quran doesn't do it. Quran doesn't exaggerate, right? It hyperbolizes, it emphasizes. So in one case, Ibrahim says, no doubt I am disassociated. And in the other he says, no doubt, I am disassociation itself from what you worship. You won't know what disassociation means until you see me and my relation with these idols and what you worship. You want to know what disconnection, disassociation means? See me. SubhanAllah. The question then arises, how come in one place he just says, I'm disassociated, the adjective, and how come the other case he goes out of his way to call himself disassociation itself. I'm going to be embodying the idea itself. It's incredible that in his youth, when he was going through his journey of discovery, demonstrating to the, the people around him how silly their shirk is, when he saw the sun come out 
فلما راى الشمس بازغه قال هذا ربي هذا اكبر this is my this must be my master this is bigger no when it settled he said my nation i have i'm disassociated with the shirk you do this is him as a young man reaching not only having reached the discovery of allah himself but also demonstrating it to his people he's not a prophet yet but he knows that he cannot be associated with shirk once he becomes a prophet and he has to take on his father and he has to take on his nation sneeze coming <coughs> oh, alhamdulillah that was juicy um alhamdulillah okay once he becomes a prophet and he has to take on his dad and he has to take on his nation what does he say if qala ibrahim li abihi wa qaumihi when ibrahim alayhi salam said to his people his his father and his nation in nani not even inni inni means certainly i in nani is a more emphatic form of certainly 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 i am disassociation itself from whatever you worship illa alladhi fatarani fa innahu sayahdini except the one who fashioned me molded me because he certainly he's the one that will guide me once he becomes a prophet he it's not even enough for him to say he's disassociated he has to now say he is disassociation itself the responsibility has been elevated and it's captured in just that one word again the same problem i get i don't get tired of saying it read this in translation what are you going to find i am disassociated i am disassociated you're not going to see the difference but the power with which messengers had to declare their 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 separation from these ideas how much more of a weight was on their shoulders is just captured in the wording bari from surah al-an'am transitioning into the word bara in surah az-zukhruf subhanallah may allah azza wa jalla help us appreciate the power of these words and may allah azza wa jalla give us uh, a renewed sense of love and appreciation and loyalty to our father ibrahim alayhi salam barakallahu li wa lakum assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh